Welcome back. In this lesson, we will talk about the main income statement items. But first, I would like to ask you a favor. I would be really grateful if you could click here and opt to leave us a rating. This would mean a lot to me, and it would help other students know that this course is worth taking. The reason I am asking you to do this now is that this is a large course, and most people do not complete all the lessons in one sitting, eventually forgetting to leave a rating. So, please do it now. It should only take a couple of seconds, and it would validate our efforts. Thank you so much for this. Okay, now, having said that, let's continue with our lesson about the different income statement items. Financial accounting revolves around three main statements. The income statement, also known as profit and loss, or simply P&L, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. Each one serves a different purpose and contains important information about how a business is running. The income statement answers the question, how did the company perform throughout the period under consideration? Did it produce a profit or a loss? Typically, an income statement is prepared for a one-year period, but sometimes larger companies present it on a quarterly basis as well. The P&L statement helps us understand whether the operations of the firm created economic value. It also enables us to find important trends such as revenue growth and the incidence of gross profit on revenues. The balance sheet answers the questions, what does a company owe and own on a certain date? And what is the company's financial position? It shows the assets that the business controls, the liabilities that it owes, and the amount of equity that belongs to equity holders. The reason why it is called a balance sheet is because total assets must equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity. It is important to remember that assets stand on the left side of the balance sheet, while liabilities and shareholders' equity are on the right side. The statement of cash flows answers the question, how much cash did the company make during the period under consideration, and where did it come from? Given that income and cash generation are two different things, we need a statement that shows us the movements of cash, providing an idea of the liquidity that is generated by the firm's operations. You will find these statements in every company's annual report. Anyone who would like to get an idea about a given business should start here. 